The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater here, and I have some freaking exciting news. So, I'm kind of still taking this with a grain of salt, but I've seen, I've just seen this like on a few different sites. I'm thinking there's some truth in this. So, apparently, George Lucas is gonna be writing for the next Star Wars series. So, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm, I, I, Honestly, like, I'm really happy, like, I'm excited he's coming back, you know, and be involved in some form or fashion, but I, I'm just, my main thing is that George obviously created all these movies, and George Lucas Star Wars is very, very different from Disney Star Wars, and the ideals that Disney wants to do, even though they still, like, you know, are playing in George's sandbox, his version, I feel like his version um, of Star Wars, if he had kept the company or if he still been really involved, would have been vastly different from what we got right now. But this one's from Insider, Inside the Magic. Let's see what it says. When George Lucas created the Star Wars franchise, he could only dream about what a galaxy far, 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 far away would become. Now, over 40 years after Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, theaters and Star Wars fans still look at the Skywalker Saga's iconic characters for inspiration, courage, and appropriately hope, and even the most toughest times of their own lives. Princess Leia, Organic Carrie Fisher, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, and Brackish Millennium Falcon pilot Han Solo, and Ford changed cinema, pop culture for the better. The story that they helped tell on Lucas' original trilogy, gave rise to dozens of other tales across novels, TV, series, standalone movie. I would say hundreds of novels and other tales. Anyway, after Disney purchased Lucasfilm in 2012, first non-trilogy Star Wars film they made was Rogue One, A Star Wars Story in 2016. This film is, the film is set immediately right before the events of A New Hope and introduced Star Wars fan base to a motley crew of characters including Jen Erso, Felicity Jones, Captain Cassian Andor, Diego Luna, Droid K2SO, Alan Tudyk, Chirrut Emwe, Donnie Yen, and Baze Malvis, Wen Yang, Jiang. Rogue One also featured flashbacks to Jen's father, Galen Erso, Mads Mikkelsen, who was constricted to help design the first Death Star and sabotage the Empire's plans along the way. Now we're gearing up to know a fan favorite Rogue One character even better. Prequel series Andor is set to debut on Disney Plus in 2022 and will showcase Rebel Spy Cassian Andor's adventures about five years before he met his Rogue One crew. The sizzle reel for the upcoming show, blah blah, blah Disney Investor Day. So there's the sizzle reel. God, this thing is like being stupid. What does George Lucas have to do with Andor? In an exciting turn of events, it seems that George Lucas will be returning to Star Wars in a meaningful way with Andor. IMDb has confirmed that the man who created a galaxy far, far away is the writer for two episodes of the upcoming series. I mean, two episodes ain't bad. At least it's something. Lucas was heavily involved with the Star Wars universe when he worked with Dave Filoni, who is now executive producer executive producer of John Favreau's The Mandalorian on the animated series Star Wars Clone Wars. The Lucasfilm founder and science fiction and science fiction guru has expressed that he expected to have more say in Disney's sequel trilogy. Mm -hmm. And that he would return to Star Wars if he were given full creative control. While he doesn't seem to have total control over Andor, it is likely Lucas's episodes will be able to propel storyline forward however he sees fit. Furthermore, since Andor is slated to have 12 episodes, it's possible that Lucas will write additional scripts. What do we know about Andor? Beyond what is known in the sizzle reel, not much known about the detailed tales of Andor. However, an additional in addition to Luna reprising his role, several of the cast members have been confirmed by INPB. Cassian Andor has no specific date. Another confirming up on a Disney series. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Aiden Christian, Ryan Darth Vader, 
other side stuff. Anyway, this looks cool. This is sounds really good. I mean, at least they're giving him something, you know? Like, two episodes really isn't much, but that was one of my thoughts when they were doing, um, having a group of different directors do The Mandalorian. I was hoping that George would come in and at least direct one or two episodes. Well, like, at least we got my wish. At least we got our wish, you know? Uh, and Andor. There's not really been anything besides the scissor reel and a couple pictures, but... There's a lot of potential here for a lot of great stuff. Cassian Andor is basically set like five years before uh, A New Hope. So Cassian's like a spy. The Rebel Alliance is, is not even an alliance yet. There's still like Rebel cells everywhere. Basically, this is like the time period during Star Wars Rebels. The Ghost Crew was like the main thing, running missions and everything. So who knows? We might even see some of them, you know? Uh, we probably will see some of them like since this is like in that time period but this has the potential to be great like we have the potential to see a lot of stuff um you know the ghost crew um more tarkin which i hope is better cgi'd um with his face palpatine possibly darth freaking vader i mean i i feel like darth vader is like a given more princess leia Bail or Ganon, I thought we're probably gonna get those again. Admiral Ackbar, there's a lot of characters who could show up in this. Whatever George writes um, are gonna hit hit very close to home. But then you know, who knows? It might be like totally different because um, when George wrote the original um, scripts for Star Wars, or as he called it, the Star Wars: the Adventures of like you know Luke Skywalker. Uh, his, he was very idealistic and he took a lot of exp inspirations from, you know, uh, Joseph Campbell, the political climate. Like, basically, the original trilogy was like a social commentary on like the Vietnam War. And then same thing with the prequels. The prequels, you know, this is a different George Lucas. This is a George Lucas who was a dad. So like, you know, he wanted to cater his kids, but then he was also making a commentary about the war in Iraq. So, you know, the war on terror and all that. So, who knows what he, like, you know, how he feels now about today's climate. When he was doing the sequel trilogy, when he wrote um, his treatments, I know he wanted to include a lot more political intrigue because we didn't get any of that in these movies. Like, there's real no word on, like, how the New Republic was doing, aside from they got wiped, <laughs> you know, clean with Starkiller Bay. You know, I, I'm I'm reaching right now. I feel like I'm reaching, but who knows? He might he, he might do something. Uh, it's it's gonna be interesting. Whatever he does, it's gonna be interesting. But like I said, this is a different, older George Lucas. So who knows what he's he has up his sleeve or his thoughts about what, or how he wants to take the series with his two episodes. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, this has been my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think George coming back is a good thing? Uh, the bad thing or, or what I personally obviously like I I'm a, I'm one of the biggest George Lucas fanboys who better to come back and write the series than the creator himself it's just gonna be cool to see George in like you know um, a writer seat at least if he's not directing you know in some form of fashion but anyway guys let me know what you guys think about this uh if you like this video please hit that like button uh if you didn't like this video still hit that like button anyway um and hit that subscribe button and also that bell to get notifications on my latest videos anyway thank you guys catch you guys in the next one may the force be with you bye